Today, players and fans at matches all over the country fell silent before kick-off as a mark of respect. But as Daniel Bircher reports, at some matches, instead of silence, there was applause. Throughout the day, fans have gathered at Old Trafford to pay their respects and lead their tributes, some remembering the days when they'd watched George Best play for Manchester United, others from later generations. It's sad that him he's gone. It's really sad. He was a genius, but he was flawed, like many geniuses are. Across the country, fans today paid their own tributes to mark the passing of a sporting legend. At Wolves, there was a minute's applause. Other clubs held the more traditional minute's silence. And in Belfast, where George Best will be laid to rest next week, there were long queues to sign books of condolence. Um, we're just very moved about George. It's always been a great memory. I actually went to school with him, so I have some nice memories. At Old Trafford, many fans now feel that when the flowers and shirts have gone, there should be some form of permanent memorial here. Daniel Bircher, BBC News. Now with news of the Rugby Union.